So guys, I make this dress for her as a surprise for her graduation party. So please join me as I make this beautiful dress. So guys, I was done cutting all the pieces. I cut two straps for the gather at the down. I cut a very long um, strap for the second gather that I'll be placing on the main gather. And also cut a waistband for the dress. And then we are going to be cutting the, the upper bodies together. So guys, this is not really a tutorial. It's just like you sewing with me. So it's just a free hand. I'm just doing free hand all through on this particular dress. So I've insert her shoulder measurements. I've insert her upper chest and her waistline, which is serving as our half length for the dress. I'll just go ahead and draw out something like this. And I'll be inserting her neckline and I'll go ahead and work on the arm hole. So I'll just be inserting the same shoulder measurement there. So just like our basic bodies as you know. So I'm just doing this. And guys, I was making this dress at night. That is a night to her party. I was making this on Friday. Her party was on Saturday. And I have to make this dress so that she wouldn't know that I was making something for her. Because I've told her initially that I was no dress. I'm not going to be making any clothes. I let her just make do with the one that she have. So guys, their color was purple and silver. Yes, purple and silver. So I just got this purple crepe. And I... God, I didn't even know the design. I didn't even know what I was even doing. So I was just trying to make something nice. See the neckline? Wow. The neckline was giving... <laughs> So I was just trying to make something for her that would look good. So I didn't add that on this upper part because this crepe fabric was, it was kind of stretchy. Yeah. It had this stretchy texture on it. So I just, as you can see, this is totally free hands. I was just doing everything. I was just going ahead and cut the front part. When I'm done cutting the front part, I'll be using it to cut the back part. So guys, this neckline, I don't even know what is it. I don't even know what it's looking like right now. But let me just open it and see what it looks like. Huh? It's kind of... It's fine, it's fine, yeah. So I'll just place this and cut out the back body. I'll be adding my zipper allowance at on it. So I'll be adding my zipper allowance on the back body. So, and our back will be having a high neck, so I just went ahead and draw it out like so, and I'll be cutting it out as well. So, just go ahead and cut it out like so. So, guys, once I'm done cutting out this, I'll be, I'll be cutting out facing for the front part and the back part, so I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric, and I'll be cutting out the front facing. So I'll be placing the front on this particular fab this particular part that I folded. So I'll be placing it like so and I'll just go ahead and use my chalk and draw it out. So I'm just cutting a facing for it. So I'll pull it out and so this will be serving as the front facing. And when I'm done cutting the front facing, I'll also be cutting the back facing. So I'll be using this to be turning the neck part of this dress. So guys, I was I started making this dress around that kind of nine. So when everyone has gone to bed, because I knew if she sees this purple, she would definitely know that I was making a dress for her. So I have to wait till everybody has gone to bed so I can start my surprise package. <laughs> Guys, it just, I know you understand what it means, like, when you want to really surprise somebody, <laughs> it'll be like, no, oh, no, I will not make a dress for you. <laughs> and the person will just feel so, like, oh, no problem. Let me just make do with the one I have. And yeah, you were trying to pull that person's leg and surprise the person. So I was done cutting the facing for the bag right now. So just go ahead and cut out the sleeve. So I'll be using a pattern that I already have for this sleeve, for basic sleeve. But don't worry guys, 
I'll be dropping a tutorial on that on how to cut your basic sleeve. Yes. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out like so. So I'll be cutting out this. I'll be cutting two pieces of this. So I'll cut out the first one. I'll use it to cut the second one. So guys, once we are done cutting this sleeve, we'll be taking this to our sewing machine to sew together. I just hope this sewing machine will not be making a lot of noise. <laughs> I just have to just... I'll go ahead to turn the front part. That is the, the front part. I'll be turning the neck part with our facing, the facing that we cut, as you see. I'll just go ahead and... and turn it out like so So guys, I'll just go ahead and remove the pins and I'll be notching it so that I can stop so that I can top stitch on the on the facing part. That is the lining part. So I'll just go ahead and notch it to help it relax. So you know we usually do notching at the neck part so that I can help that dress relax. So I'll just go ahead and top stitch on it and I'll be doing the same thing on the back part. So guys, this is the piece we'll be using for our down gathers. So I've done, I've give, I've already done our gather stitch on it. So I want to mark a line, a like a point where I'll be adding that rough, that um, okay, I don't know what I'll call it, and that ruffles that I created. So I just wanted to add a ruffles there. So I came up around seven inch from the hem of the dress. So I'll be taking this to my same machine and I'll be attaching this and I'll be joining all the piece of this dress together so that I can show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is what it's looking like right now. So it's just so beautiful. So guys, at a point, I even forgot that I was filming because I have to meet up with time. If you're, if you're a content creator, you understand what I mean. Filming uh, is not that easy. So guys, her shoe, the shoe I got for her had this sort of silver something on it. And remember I told you that the dress has to be purple and a touch of silver or, or anything or just that shoe should, should be silver. So I decided to get for her a black shoe with a touch of silver and also decided to get this thing that I'll be adding on the dress to make it look so beautiful. So guys, this is what is, it will be looking like. So I'll just go ahead and use my gum to gum this on the dress. To gum this on the dress and i want to gum it at that um the waist part that is that um waistband so that is where i want to attach this on so i'll just apply my gum there i'll just apply the gum all through so guys i didn't even know that i'll come through with this dress so there was a at a point i was so exhausted so I didn't even know that I'll come through with the dress. So guys, this is what it's looking like right now. I'll just go ahead and attach that. Just go ahead and attach it like so. So I was just trying to make sure that it was looking neat. So that part I've not gone yet. So I'll go ahead and take my gum and add to it. So guys, at this point, I was super exhausted. This was around 3 a.m. in the morning. Yes, so around 3 a.m. in the moment, and I was almost through with this clothes, and I was so far happy. Like, I was very, very happy. I couldn't wait to see her expression in the morning. So I was just coming in. So I just went ahead and gummed this at the waist parts or through. So I was checking if I was to add this at the back or just the front. So guys, this is her shoe. And it was just brand new shoes. So I was just going to attach it. I was just looking for a way I would just place this on this mannequin. So that when I call her in the morning, she'll be like, 
wow and guys i couldn't wait to see her expression in the morning so guys that was just the most important part making this dress i really want to know how she would feel so guys i'm done and it's time to call her in god this was the most funniest part like she came in two to three times when she found out i was filming her really she was very very shy god and she was just so happy her reaction she loved the dress like guys the dress was so beautiful she really loved it and guys this was the time she was all set for her graduation she was having she was taking photos with her friends you know all these things so she was just taking photo with her friends oh guys the one that was dancing was joy <laughs> she was just so happy leaving secondary school all of them was very very happy leaving secondary school and guys guess what she got a lot of compliments like her friends were like your gown is so beautiful and mind you she already told them that she was not going to wear purple that day <laughs> oh god <laughs> but they was all asking her the style that she wants she was like Oh, I'm not going to be putting on purple. And guys, see our graduating students. Wow, they're looking so, so beautiful. And the big auntie by their side. We are taking pictures, photos, making videos. So guys, thank you for making this beautiful outfit with me. Thank you, thank you so much. And thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell because I'll be dropping a tutorial very soon. Thank you guys.